Hello everyone, it's Shell C from Paper Octeo Studio. Today I'm sharing with you day 18 of hashtag art journal habit 2017. This is a daily art journaling challenge from the Art Joy of Sharing group, which is our Facebook group. Peg Robinson and I have it. And um, we have prompts for every day in the month of November 2017. And we are making a page in video every day and there's lots of other people playing along if you want to see everyone's art you can come over to the art joy of sharing group and ask to join remember to answer the questions um, also you can search hashtag art joy of sharing or not well yeah that would work but also <laughs> hashtag Art Journal Habit 2017 anywhere on social media and you'll come up with all kinds of posts from people who are playing along with the prompts. So um, the first thing I'm doing here is just covering up some of the uh, lettering on my junk journal page. This journal was made out of uh, like car light cardboard weight flyers and mailers and things that come in the mail so it's it's truly junk mail made into a journal. So I always have to figure out a way to cover up what's on those pages. Um, it had a light coat of gesso on it already from, I think, from cleaning up on a different day. And then I just put these, what you would call cleanup pages, um, from uh, gel printing on deli paper and they're messy but they have a little bit of a geometric shape <coughs> excuse me <coughs> on them uh, which is kind of like a beehive shape from a stencil at some point and I don't know when I printed these they were just something that was laying around and then I noticed that they are colored Prussian blue um, which is a really cool color and I decided to just kind of add a little bit more of that color using a credit card an old uh, it's probably a key card or something gift card maybe I saved those to use as scrapers you could also use a scraper or a palette knife but I just kind of scratched a little bit more of that color which um, is the deco art media fluid line paint on there just to fill in a few of the blank spots and then I felt like doing some dripping because I had this high flow titanium white on my table and so I decided to drip a little bit across there um, my page is kind of inspired by well there's this quote by Plato that says geometry existed before creation and you know that dude he was around a long time ago Greek philosopher you know and come to find that there really is geometry in creation um, things like nautilus shells and some of the succulents and just pretty much basically everything is created uh, by the creator whoever created it and it's using the golden ratio so if you don't know about that you should check out the scientific writing about the golden ratio and how it like, exists and everything how um, I can't explain it to you very well I mean I understand what it is and I know how to draw it but I don't know how to explain it but I find it extremely interesting that someone way back you know a philosopher way back before we had all this scientific measuring instruments and you know all this stuff that we have now that we can prove theories and and you know we have like we have computers and and microscopes and all kinds of analytical equipment that can can help us find out things that some dude way in the past figured out just by looking at the air I don't know <laughs> so I think that's really interesting so my idea for the page was I, I wanted to try drawing some of these these crystals these colorful uh, they're supposed to be like quartz crystals that are growing um, creating themselves out of years and years and years and years of sediment and maybe heat and pressure and you know that's that's so interesting and 
the way that they grow is so angular and geometric that I thought that that went really well with the prompt. And also, um, I follow a person named Lindsay B Tattoo on Instagram. And, you know, I'm interested in tattooing. I, I think in tattooing is interesting. I, I'm not, I think it would be fun to draw the tattoos and be the person who makes the, ta you know, do that. But the actual, like, poking the people's skin and they're in pain and they're, I don't know if I would want to do that. But I like to watch Ink Master and I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's just an interesting industry to me because it was so, so, so taboo and nobody would do that and only bad people would have a tattoo and then now it's like, everybody has a tattoo everybody you know it's not it's not a i don't know that's it's just also interesting to you see i think about these things i spend a lot of time thinking about weird stuff um i think that's interesting the the shift and change and Lindsay b tattoo she makes i assume it's a she in fact i know it is because i've seen pictures of her because she will post on instagram when she changes her hair color and she's had lavender and she's had silver and she's had pink you know she's an interesting person and an artist but the tattoos that she seems to specialize in are very bright colors and she often does really cute little animals in bright colors and flowers and they seem real girly like if, if you wanted to go get a girly tattoo, you might go to her. And I, I think she's in Florida, I think. But um, one of the other things that she does is she makes these interesting, colorful crystals like this. So that also inspired me. Um, not so much that I thought crystals were a good idea. <coughs> I already had thought that, but... When I thought about crystals, I thought about these very bright, colorful ones she does as tattoos. So that's what I wanted to do. So I used a pen that I don't use very often just because it was there and I felt like playing with it. It's a brush pen from Food or Fude, F-U-D-E, and it's it's got the ink in the barrel and then it's got one of those um, fine synthetic brushes on the end like a water brush. And... I think it was, I think it was Julie Fanfay Balzer. I was watching something she did and she was like so excited about this pen or maybe, maybe it was somebody else. I don't know. Anyway, so I just had to have the pen. This is one of these things where you're watching videos and you're like, oh, I got to have that. That sounds so cool. And then once I got it, I wasn't all that into it anymore. It's okay. But, and it's kind of fun to play with, but it's a little bit harder to control. It's like a paintbrush. So you might get a bloppy line or you might get a straight line, just depending on how well you're doing that day. <laughs> but I wanted to play with it. So I drew my crystals using the that pen and then I dried it because I wanted to make sure it was good and dry because I wasn't sure if it was waterproof or not, having not used it any time recently. So then I got out my charts for my alcohol markers. You know, these are the Spectrum Noir alcohol markers that I got for Christmas last year. And I had to make a chart because the ends of the pins aren't the right color in comparison to what is in the pin. So I have no idea what's actually the color of the pin by just looking at them on the, you know, in on the rack or whatever. I have to go and look at the chart. So I picked a couple colors of pink and a couple colors of yellow and a couple colors of kind of an ice blue turquoise color that I thought complemented the background of Prussian blue pretty well. Prussian blue has a little bit of a greeny tint, tealy tint to it while still being very blue. And then I started to experiment. Um, I wouldn't say that alcohol markers are really designed to color over the top of gesso. I don't know if I mentioned that I painted everything in with gesso. I don't know. My my phone went bling bling and it derailed my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> not that it's difficult to derail my train of thought. It's really super easy, but it did because then I had to go look for the uh, vision card. And then anyways, so I can't remember exactly what I said. But if I didn't say it, I did paint all that in with white gesso to... Um, 
you know, I, I know that the markers are going to be translucent. They're not going to be opaque because to be opaque, I'd have to color them 100% with Posca pins, which I don't have enough colors. I wanted to make like a blended color um, going from pink to orange to yellow and uh, like like uh, some Savarsky crystals that have been dipped in that AB stuff, Aurora Borealis coating, Aurora Borealis. And that's what I wanted the effect to be. So I'm experimenting. I'm not getting a perfect blend over just so I start adding in some white Posca pin, uh, trying to get a blend from white all the way down to blue from, you know, it's an experimentation process. I wasn't sure if I would need more colors, but I did find that the alcohol markers are very blendy, mixy, matchy with each other. And so as I use the yellow with the pink, I do get an orange, which um, is cool. <laughs> and then of course, once I'm done doing that, then I write that pen off onto my scratch paper to make sure that none of that color stays in the nib, you know, the other color, because then it kind of messes up what color you had on your pen, you know, you don't want to leave it in there. So you can just write it off onto your scratch paper and it'll be fine. Then, of course, because I painted gesso over everything, I didn't, I wasn't able to 100% stay in the lines. And so I do have to go back over my black lines. And I'm doing that with a Posca pen and a ruler. I'm, I'm pretty good at drawing straight lines, but I think for something like this, some of those longer lines needed to be really 100% straight straight not like kind of straight or sort of straight but straight so I have a couple of these little short metal rulers that are really easy to use in an art journal because they're only six inches or eight inches I think I have one eight inch one and one six inch one and so they're not very long and it's easy to use them so I was using those to straighten up some of my lines and then I continue to go to each little section of the crystals and try to color and blend. Um, I think it would be better if I were to use, if I were to leave more white. Um, if, if this was a tattoo, I would need to be leaving more skin, open skin, <laughs> you know, to get a better blend. But I'm just not good at that. I'm just, I like to just color everything in. And then I go back with uh, pins and uh, re-whiten places. It's just what I like to do. So I'm not very good at that. But um, if you just left the white in the first place, then you wouldn't have to go back, right? That's logical. And also at some time I decided that I was actually going to put a white um, catch light type highlight on each of the crystal facets uh, with, the, with the Posca pen as well. So this took a while because I was experimenting and trying to decide where to put what color. Um, it didn't go super fast by any means. This, this page is pretty simple and you would have thought this would be a 10 minute video, but it ended up being a 20 minute video. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. I forgot to put some uh, bluey tealy color on that one last little facet over there and had to go get a pin back out. And I'm not sure it's exactly the same color as before, but close enough. So I'm not really sure I have anything else to say. I mean, this is about what I did. I have a feeling that my concept and idea of page is going to be very different than everyone else's. I'm not even sure that these are geometric enough <laughs> to fit the prompt. But the whole idea of the prompts is that it gives you an idea of something to think about and then you think about it and then you do the page based on what you thought about, you know, when it when you were sparked or prompted by the prompt. So um, just because I didn't draw a bunch of uh, squares with extra extra boxes or whatever doesn't mean that it's wrong it's just probably going to be very different from what everyone else's 
most likely. I may be wrong, but I think it will be. I'm kind of sometimes an out-of-the-box thinker. So the rest of the video is going to be coloring. And I don't know what to talk about. I'm still worrying about the vision card and the vision doctor and <laughs> not really. I'm, my flow is off. I'm not flowing so well right now. I like how this turned out. I wonder what Lindsay B. Tattoo would think. I'll never know, probably. I don't think she follows me. I doubt she does, but maybe she'll see it and say, hey, those are my crystals, woman. Why are you stealing my crystals? <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Flattery. It's flattery. If someone takes your design, then that means that they liked it enough to copy it and they're flattering you, right? I didn't exactly copy it. I just copied the idea of a bright colors, Aurora Borealis crystal type idea. And I gave her credit. I said her name several times. So the last thing I did to this page is to add the quote that I was mentioning earlier from the philosopher Plato. I wonder, oh, there we go. My phone is going bling bling again. I wonder, how do we know that Plato said that? He's credited with the quote but how do we know? Were any of you there? Maybe it's written down somewhere. It's probably, that's probably what it is. But yeah, I sometimes wonder about that. And there you can see me counting on my fingers, trying to decide which letter is in the middle of the word so that I can line everything up. <laughs> E-X-I-T. <laughs> how I do it. That's how I do it. And I did it again. <laughs> how do you spell creation? I've made videos before where I misspelled words. In fact, there was one not that long ago um, where I used the wrong word. It should have been then and I used then. And several people in the comments told me I had made a mistake. Yep. The grammar police. They told me I made a mistake and I should have used a different word. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to go back and change it. <laughs> no way, dude. No way. <laughs> it is what it is. It's in an art journal. So nobody's going to ever see it besides the, all the thousands of you who saw it. And we'll continue to see it on the internet and probably tell me that I made a grammar mistake. It's okay. <laughs> so I used my food brush pen again to write the letters and then I added a highlight with my white Posca pen. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video and my rambling on about nonsense and um, a peek into my strange brain. And that's it for me. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment or a question or something. Subscribe if you haven't already, share if you want to, all that stuff. Bye-bye.